Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 3 100% Water. In this episode we're going to do the sunken cave and get some treasure chests, but first, I'm changing Ark back to a monk class, level 32 monk. Ingus is going to stay a dragoon class, level 25. Make sure to equip Ingus with the gun gear and the heavy lance. Currently these are the most powerful items, but look at the gun gear, 140 attack. Pretty soon we're going to be replacing the heavy lance with a new, more powerful lance, very very shortly. As for the monk class here, you'll see we have Wyvern Claws and Kaiser Knuckles. Now, they're only attack power 51 and 50, but we're gonna find some new claws very soon as well. And we're gonna upgrade the monk. Keep Lunith as the bard and keep Rafi as a thief. With that being said, you guys remember how we talked to an NPC and he said there's sunken treasure beneath the Triangle Island? If you look on the map on the far, far southeast, you'll see that Triangle Island there. So we're gonna cut right there. I'm going this way because it's faster to cut through the map this way. And it's gonna lead me all the way on the other side. If I open up my map here, you'll see that. Okay, I went too far down. I'm southwest. But if I go like this. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way west and go and cut off out of the map. And that's gonna take me to the southeast side where the Triangle Island is. Let's see. You can see I'm there. I just gotta turn around and go this way now. Okay, right there. Here it is, the Triangle Island. I mean, if you guys didn't get a good look, I'll open up the map again, and that's where I am in the southeast there, where the green airship is. Okay, so we sink under, and we go to the sunken cave here. This is an easy area. Actually, if you guys want, you can go through this area first, and then do Odin. But... I did Odin first, just to get over with. Because I knew I could take it on anyway, so... It's fine. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Alright, so let's attack, attack, sing, and steal. Rafael is not as high as a thief level as Ingus, so she might fail a lot more often. Let's find out here. Oh, she stole the Arctic Wind. Dead. And we'll do the same thing. Lunith will keep us all healthy with his singing. And we stole another art- wow, she's doing pretty good actually. She's having a pretty good run. Okay, this thing should be dead now. These are killing hermits by the way. So that's the first encounter here, we have to make sure we update our beastry. So, I'll let you guys know once we've encountered every monster. Okay, we got two new monsters here. These are Kelpie and Ologhe. Anyways, let's just auto-attack this one. Arctic Wind. Once we upgrade that monk class with the new weapons found here, he'll be a lot better. Oh, that's a critical. 4,672. Ingus's job levels increase and Ark's job level. Rafia! Let's go down here. Alright, second level. We'll go here first and grab a treasure chest. This is the Chakram. So the Chakram is going to be a weapon for the Thief class, so we'll upgrade the Thief to 50 attack power now. And pretty soon we'll get rid of this poison dagger for another upgraded weapon. Now, let's go all the way to the right side here. We got more treasure, but we got back attacked by these mermaids. Oh, Blizzard. Uh, it's all split damage right now. Aye! Okay. Sea Witches. Let's sing, and yeah, I guess we can just auto battle it. We're fine. We are fine, don't worry. See, now she's failing. Dragoons are really good, but because of their armor, um, they're weaker to magic attacks. So you'll notice that magic attacks do a lot more damage on Dragoons. Just because of the armor that they have on. 
Usually the claws give you more magic defense and the armors give you more physical defense, but less magic defense. Alright, perfect. Ingus gains a level, Lunath drop levels increased. Can I get my items now? Tiger Claws. There's our first upgrade for the monk. Now that's going to be 82 attack power. We're going to get another claw, and then I'll put Worm and Claw, and then I'll put Tiger Claws down here in the other upgrade up there. Monk class getting upgraded, nice. That's why I switched. Preemptive attack. See, it's a really easy area. The bard will keep you healthy at all times. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about using any cure spells or potions or anything. Because the bard has unlimited MP, <laughs> since it doesn't require any MP to use to heal. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. The other way to go. Anyways, these are Eagers. So we're just missing one monster, I believe. Let's auto attack this one. And then we'll go the other way and grab the other chests. Arctic Wind. Oh, nice. Freaking Dragoon's overpowered at the moment because of the Gungir. And we're gonna even make it more overpowered once we get the other lance found here. Arctic Wind. Oh, Monk's getting there. There you go. Just gotta get him the other knuckles. The metal knuckles. Which give 100 attack power. Alright, this way. Oh, come on. Killing hermits. Why is the encounter rate so high? We barely moved. Arctic Wind. Nice job, there you go. We're one hitting a lot. Okay, steel, arctic wind. We got it. Now let me get to my treasure chests. Lunith says job levels increased. Here it is. That's a dual tomahawk, which is I think for the Viking class. Anyways, we're gonna go right back to where we were going before to exit to the next level. Eagers are back. We'll just auto attack it. Also, you guys should probably steal some more of those um, Raven Yawns if you want some more arrow cut spells for the Scholar class. I stole about six of them before I started recording. So, you can do that after this area though. You don't have to do it right now. Okay, down here. First thing we're gonna do is just go all the way down. There's gonna be a treasure chest right to our left there and then we're gonna cross down again. So we're missing one encounter. We should be able to and we should be able to encounter it here. He comes at level 1 and level 3, typically. Alright, finish it! Or steal the Arctic Wind. We're doing lots of damage. Can't wait to grab that other weapon we're missing. Ancient Sword? Cognitum, which is going to be for a scholar class. Diamond Helm. Metal Knuckles, there it is. Let's upgrade Ingus with the Diamond Helm. And Arc, we can give Metal Knuckles and put the Tiger Claws down here. So he has 100 attack power with Metal Knuckles and 82 attack power with Tiger Claws, which gives him a total of 182 attack power now. Ingus has 224, which will be further upgraded once we get the next Lance here. So they're very strong. Diamond Shield. Now, once we cross over to the left side here, there's gonna be more items. So we'll grab Diamond Mail and Loki Harp, which we already have. So let's upgrade him with a Diamond Mail. 
Now he's Diamond Helm, Diamond Mill. Still gotta get him that Lance. And Diamond Bracers. We can upgrade Luneth with Diamond Bracers. And then proceed down here. Oh, almost made it. Without an encounter rate. We still need to get that monster anyway, so I'm still waiting for it. It doesn't want to show up. Ingus draw level has increased. Luneth draw level has increased. And... Air Knife. So we can upgrade the Thief with the Air Knife. 89 attack power deals wind damage. That puts the Thief currently right now at an attack power of 139. And we're, there's more items down here. Grab this. We'll get you Phoenix down. And... Elixir. And Diamond Gloves. So we can put Diamond Gloves on Rafia and exit. Now this is the last part here. Keep going until we cross. I was about to go down. Oh, this was the encounter I needed anyway. Here it is. Dawsmere. So now that we encountered every monster here, all we have to do is get the last treasure chest. Which are all traps. Was that max damage from the... Oh yeah, they're weak to um, wind and dragoons. So you'll do max damage. 9,999. He wrecked them, man. Okay, down here. So first we get the Aegis Shield. Take auto battle off. Go to items and throw a Phoenix down at this thing. Guard, sing, and steal. That's all we need to do. Let's see if the steal goes off or not, or... It failed. That's okay. Phoenix down will kill it because it's undead. That's why. So healing spells, potions, and Phoenix downs, all that stuff will damage it. Well, Phoenix down will kill it insta death, but the other stuff will. If you use like a cure spell or a potion, high potion, that will damage it. Spells like revive will kill it as well. Trident. There is the next spear upgrade. Alright, this thing's a flying creature, it's gonna die from one Dragoon attack. Sing and steal. Stole nothing. We failed. Dead. So let's put that Trident on the uh, Dragoon and make him even more overpowered now. So Trident has an attack power of 108. Now, look at our total attack power. 248 with the Dragoon. He is fucking... He's a beast right now. Reflect Mail. Alright, this guy's easy. We'll just auto-attack it. He'll die. Black Hole was stolen. And a critical attack. Nice. Next guy's easy as well. Ingus draw levels increased. Triton hammer. This thing is a eater. So this is the last enemy, and then we're done. We can teleport out. I'm gonna buy some more otter shrooms. Just a few more. We are loaded on cash right now. We get money pretty easy. Look at our cash, 204,562 gil now. So I'm definitely gonna use an otter shroom. Teleport out. I might buy enough till I get 10 maybe. How far am I? Okay, let's cut through this way until we go off the map, which will bring us all the way down to the other side. Because we need to go to Zeronia Kingdom. I'm gonna buy Otter Shrooms there and then I'm gonna save my game. And this is it. Oh wait, we have to keep going this way. Right down here. Northeast. Okay, enter northeast town. In. And buy Otter Shroom. I wanna buy. I wanna make sure I have like 10 of them. So I'll buy 7. Let me see if I can sell some stuff. I'll sell a Spark Dagger. Main Gachi. We don't need these anymore. I don't think. Hold on. 
Also, White Slayer. Turfing. Salaman Sword. Freezing Blade. Serpent Sword. Also, the Fire Staffs, because we won't be needing them anymore. Ice Staff, Light Staff. I'll keep the Golem Staff for now. Ruin Staff. Ice Rod. Sell the Ruin Bowl. Sell Sonic Knuckles. Impact Claws. Cat Claws. Kaiser Knuckles. Um, also, the Viking Axe. Also, a couple Dragon Helms, because we're going to be upgrading everybody to Diamond soon anyway. Sell some Knight Armor. And okay, I think that's it for now. So we're at 244,673 gil at the moment. At 500,000 gil, we will get another achievement, remember? So we're almost there, almost halfway there. Just need a few more thousand gil, and we'll be like halfway there. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to think about what I want to do for the next episode. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and thanks for watching.